Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. This is Andy. And I'm Joe. And I'm also Joe. And I'm Andy. And Joe the third is me. Andy uh, the fifth is I. Right. Uh, we're going to show you right now a video from our past. These are videos that have previously aired on our Patreon page from the past. Yes. Uh, because we're getting ready to launch new videos from the future. The future is. I've said before on this channel, if you've watched some of the older videos, where you should take your shoes off, take your pants off, put your pants back on, put your shoes back on, take your jacket off, put your jacket back on. But now I'd also like to advise for those of you who wear glasses, take your glasses off, put your glasses back on, go get some sunglasses, put them on top of your glasses, and uh, that's it. Keep the sunglasses on over the glasses. Joe can't do it because he can't find sunglasses right now. But uh, please enjoy this video from our past while we get ready for our future here on Give Me All You Got, the it's show. The Andy <laughs> show. It's not the name of the show. That's just the name that I thought of. Anyway, enjoy this. Bye. <laughs> the dainty guy. That's my new. The pokey fun. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to the day after the birthmas taping of uh, The Andy Show. Yeah. Yesterday was the birthmas. Um, Indeed. How did you guys celebrate? Um, well, I woke up and... Um, Praised a picture of you. Sure, as you should. Yep. Well, look, you drinking out of a camera lens. <laughs> it's my, <laughs> my fun little yeah. gift I got yeah. over the holidays that's, here. That's, yeah. I was very, I was weirded out by that. I'm sorry to interrupt you. I just, <laughs> no, no, I no. saw that and I was like, what? Wow. I treated myself to a Mexican Coke and yeah. I was all excited about it. And then uh, I don't have a bottle opener. Oh, well, that'll so, just stay in there. Now it just sits here. It could be like the ones that my dad has. That have sports things yeah, on from them. the seventies. Yeah, he's got like World Series, you know, cokes from nineteen seventies yeah. when the Reds were relevant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, I uh, have a two thousand one Coke can from when Duke won the title. Yeah, and it's empty now. Okay, somehow the can. It went Maybe away. a can is different than a glass. Bottle. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. Bottles were made. When I was a little kid, I would think I'm gonna drink that. You yeah. have to imagine what, like. when I was a kid, it was already twenty years old. So mm -hmm. don't drink it. Yeah, but I would think I'd look at it and think, what would it taste like? Yeah. And now, 40 some years later, I really want to know what it tastes like. Oh, since it was created, not since you were a child. No, I just mean like in general, let's, yeah. let's, let's pop open those bottles. Yeah, pop those uh, bottles. So yeah, how did you celebrate the birthmas? We went to your party. We did, and I want to talk about that because <laughs> yes. uh, viewers of this show are familiar with the fact that I have talked openly on this televised program mm -hmm. about my lack of ever having a surprise party or a birthday party. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't a fake surprise party either. No, it was and a you legit. Didn't plan it. I didn't plan it. My <laughs> wife uh, Juliet planned the whole thing, and uh, amazingly, I did. I was. It, no one tipped it off. Yeah, yeah. I was proud of myself, if I may. You were the only uh, person that had a mild tip off, and I just said happy birthday. No, okay. no. You know? told your parents that Ooh, you were doing, and yeah. they told my mom. Oh. Who was not told because I talked to my mom all day and Julia didn't want to put that burden right. on her because my mom is very sweet but might, you know, yeah. say something like, have fun with your friends tonight, honey, or something right. like that. Yeah. So it did not get through. The Good. one leak that existed yeah. didn't, didn't happen. My, my mom and dad held on to it because you Good. were vague enough. Yeah. That there was no, you told your parents, like, I think we're doing something for Andy's birthday. Right. And then that was it. Mm -hmm. So there was no further, you know. And I'll be honest, there was no, I wasn't trying to be cryptic with them. Uh, you were just you just don't just, yeah. just letting them know what's happening <laughs> yeah. in my life. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Well, uh, what I'm saying Thankfully. is is that you were the the one possible leak that didn't happen. Thank God. Yeah, because I thought it could be me. <laughs> yeah, because you texted me a congratulatory text because I won our fantasy football. We'll league. get to that. Yeah, and uh, and it was the morning. It was yesterday morning. Yeah, and I was like, well, somehow I'm gonna blow this. Yeah, <laughs> it'll just come out. Of it. I'm supposed to see you at your party. Ah! Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I was like, do I just ignore him? But well, then that seems rude well, on his birthday. Well, and were you having those thoughts? Where the it's like, thing Geez. is, it could have been, even if you had been the one who had ruined it, it yeah. probably wouldn't have been as ruined. It would have been moderately ruined because I considered, oh, well, maybe I will invite Pat and Joe and a few other people mm -hmm. you know, to this dinner. And then I thought, well, I don't want to, I don't know what people are doing. I don't know where people are. I don't want to like get involved in having to invite everybody. Never mind. We'll just, let's just do the family, the, the right. four or five of us. And so there was a moment where I had toyed with the idea of inviting everybody, and I had brought you two up to Juliet of like, well, let's see what they're doing. Yeah. Um, so there maybe you know there could have been a ver variation where she had invited just you. Right. <laughs> you know. Yeah, um, that's true. But yeah, it was it was an incredible thing. I I will be very honest with you. I did not have. We got to turn the AC on right now. It's, I'm wearing a jacket inside. It's 
cut. You can see me get up, everybody. I'm not it's happening. It's happening. Mid episode. Mid episode AC break. Uh, yeah, I, I, when I talked about it previously on other episodes, I did not think that it was going to happen for me. And in fact, uh, Juliet and I drove home from that episode where we had talked about it, and mm-hmm. I couldn't shut up about it in the car. <laughs> I was saying, man, this is never going to happen for me. Like, I just, I don't, you know, like, I just don't think it'll happen. I don't think that anybody will get together yeah. and do this. It came together pretty quickly, too, I think. And yeah. in, a, in a really, you know, look, I, I don't want to get too sappy here, but it was an incredibly uh, personally validating experience. Good. Because in my entire life, most of the people that I'm around in some way are working with me in some yes. business capacity because my personal life and business are very much mixed. We're right. doing something right now that is a business thing that we do, right? right? We're friends and get together and talk anyway, but by and large, most things, with the exception of like football or a few other things, right. are things that we're working on together. Right. And the same goes for the band and Feldy and anybody else that I'm working with. You know, it's, it's usually a business related <laughs> thing. So this is one of the only times. Uh, not the only time, but one of the only times in recent memory where it was a completely not business-motivated right. thing where everybody just came out to celebrate my birthday, and I was very excited. So thank you both for coming. Of course. Uh, thank you to everyone who did come, and thank you to those who did not come. Because <laughs> uh, we didn't want them there anyway. No, well, you know, I mean, there's plenty of people that I know who, who uh, would have come, but a lot many people are in different cities. Sure. You know, some band members live in different places. Some friends of mine live in different places. So, But the Los Angeles contingent, many of which came out, it was very happy. We hope you loved that video. I know that you loved it because I am in your house right now right. watching you enjoy it. And That's not true. Presumably I Presumably you loved it because you're still watching the video and it's over. Right. I hope that you liked it. I hope that you enjoy these videos. We will be uploading these videos every single day from the world, anywhere in the world that we are. We're going to stress out and go, oh, we got to get a video up. So What's we'll upload be? it. Yeah, there's we have a remote location that we upload all of these from. It's a bunker. Uh, we can't even get in. That's how secret it is. So we just stand right outside the bunker and we upload these videos. Uh, is there anything you'd like these people to know? Make sure to turn the bell on. Uh... <laughs> you might ask, what the hell's that? Uh, and the answer is, there's apparently a bell somewhere right around this video in one of these areas. Uh, unless you're watching it elsewhere, yeah. unless it's not on our YouTube page. If However, there's an actual bell, you can ring that bell. You can yeah, ring my you bell. You can ring my <laughs> bell, LL. Ring my bell. Uh, get notifications. Subscribe to the channel. Please enjoy these videos. And if you don't, don't tell us, because we'll cry, 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 96 tears. <laughs>